Hey guys, welcome back to another episode on my channel. So today guys, we are going to be making my salsa. This salsa was passed down from my abuelita to my mom and now to me. So let's get started. Serrano, chile serrano, um, chile jalapeño, uh, chile habanero, and like I said, you guys can use your own chiles, whatever chiles you guys prefer. Cilantro, garlic, salt, and then one onion. And yeah, so those are the ingredients you are going to be needing. Um, okay, so first things first, you obviously want to wash all your vegetables and um, make sure that they're clean. You're gonna start off by getting, um, I usually do two tomatoes, but for this video, I'm gonna go ahead and use three. So I'm gonna do three tomatoes. And I am going to be using chile jalapeño. And I'm just gonna be using one. Look how thick and fat that one is. This is actually a good jalapeño. Um, one jalapeño and then also if you guys know chile serrano, I like to use different chiles in my salsa just so I can get like different types of like spices and like flavors in there. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to say three chile serranos because they are uh, chile rojos and that's what the color that we're aiming for today. We're going to make salsa roja. Um, and I also have two dried up habanero, habanero chiles that I, to me personally, once, well, this is what my grandpa told me is that a chile is spicier when it is dried up. Um, so I kind of let them dry out a little bit before I actually use them. So I buy them like way in advance <clears throat> and let them kind of dry out on their own. So here I have two, so I'm going to be using two. And then also we're going to be using the cilantro, of course. So you always want to wash your cilantro and I don't really measure my cilantro because I don't use it until the end anyway. So I think about just like a couple stems, like a handful of stems should be good. You don't want to put too much because you don't because cilantro is very overpowering so you don't want to use too much cilantro. Um, so yeah, so throw that in there as well and then we are going to wash all our vegetables with cold water. Okay, so now that everything is washed and clean, I'm going to go ahead and now fry these. And I'm going to show you guys how I fry them. Okay guys, so this is how I always start off my salsa. It's like I said, chile is better when it's a little dried up. Um, the heatness to the chile when you fry them on the comal, it activates the chili and everything. So it, it makes it like more flavorful from what my mom's told me. So I like to fry all my ingredients. So I'm gonna add all this to the comal. Garlic too to fry it out. I mean the garlic fries pretty fast, so I mean, you don't have to put it exactly all on the same time. But I do like it to cook with everything just so I know that it'll be ready at the same time. And make sure you guys turn a fan on because if you guys ever fried chiles, it can get pretty pretty spicy, and you can actually start coughing from it because the spices are so strong. So. Yeah, so we're gonna leave those frying for a couple of minutes. Um, I usually leave them frying for about like 20, 20 minutes and I turn them as I'm going. Um, so yeah, we will come back to these right now. You guys hear those beautiful noises? All right guys, um, so as you guys can see now, the tomatoes and everything are pretty, pretty done. The garlic was done pretty quick, like I said, it doesn't take too long, so I'm going to take out the chiles now, but look at how pretty that is. That's, that's what we're aiming for, bien doraditos. Make sure that you're getting all, heating up all the chile. Look at that, beautiful. 
Uh, the tomatoes, I think I'm gonna give it a little more just because the bottom's still kind of like cooking. Um, but so far, so now, the chiles are done, so we're just gonna wait on the tomatoes now. And if you can look right there, the water is literally kind of like rojo, like a little coloring. You see all those little um, flakes of the vegetables. That's all like the broth of the salsa and that's the most important part when you're blending this. So you're gonna add that in there. Look at that color. Okay, I think that should be good enough. So you don't wanna add too much water because you don't want your salsa too watery. So that should be good. And then you're just going to cover it and blend it up. Like 
like to make it and we put the onion after so it can grab like a good taste of it. Like I said, you don't need an onion, a lot of onion depending on how much that's how you make. That's kind of how you measure the onion. So here I may need a little more just because I did make a lot of salsa. Okay guys, so now I added, or I already added the more onion to my salsa. Um, so now I'm moving on to the cilantro and I'm gonna cut it up now and add it to my salsa. cilantro everything and you're gonna start seeing you're gonna start smelling all the flavors put into together so really really good it came out really good I'm so happy right now okay and last but final step un poquito de sal because you want to add your flavor obviously if not it's literally gonna taste like water and I like to add little by little because you never want to over salt your salsa and you just kind of taste test it as you're mixing it in so but I feel like I've made salsa so much now that I just kind of know already how much it needs so I don't really have to taste test it as much but if this is your first time making salsa add little by little by little because like I said it's not going to taste right if you put too much or too little because if you think about it you're adding salsa to foods to tacos to whatever you're gonna do so you don't want it to like overtake on the saltiness so what I do is just I add a little on my hand Ooh, that bitch is spicy but that's how I like it I need a little more salt though because it is tasting a little bland So now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna let your salsa cool down and once it's gotten down to like room temperature you're gonna put it in your fridge let it sit for like an hour or an hour and a half or until dinner is ready and then your salsa should be ready so I will be back with you guys right now all right guys and now that our salsa is done and complete I am going to taste test it and I just pulled it out of the fridge. Remember guys, don't put your salsa in the fridge if it's still hot because it will go bad. Trust me. So, now to taste test it. And I'm just gonna taste test it with, taco, um, with a taco de queso. I like a lot of salsa. I need more. I need to taste the cilantro, the onion. Mmm. Fire. Alright, guys. That's it for today's episode. If you guys have any specific recipes, any specific foods, or something that you guys want me to try out for you guys, just let me know down in the comments down below give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this little salsa video and let me know if you guys try it out tag me on instagram um send me something i don't care just let me know if you guys like it or not but i will see you guys on my next episode bye butterflies Ridiculous with me right now. Yeah, it's not too bad.
choose the box. Okay. Woo! That onion's strong. Oh my god. <gasps> that burned. Okay. Liz, I'm crying. Ah. Okay. Hold on. Let me shed the tear because I can't look. Oh my god, I'm crying. Hold on, guys. Oh my god, this onion's strong. It's okay. That bitch is cry too. Dang, that onion really fucked me up. <laughs> I think it does. 